Uh, welcome everyone again, and we're so glad that you took some time out and joined us here today. And um, just to remind you of what we're talking about here, it's idea management and Salesforce, and specifically how to improve your product uh, with the help of your customers. So my name is Olha Lapa, and I'm an account executive here for commercial accounts um, at Advanced Communities. So basically, I'm that one person who has the privilege of talking to people every day and um, basically learning more about the struggles that they have um, when it comes to idea management outside of Salesforce. And today, I'm joined by Alexey Yuzvak, our product owner. So, Alexey, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, with, with my pleasure. Hello again. My name is Alexey. I'm product manager and product owner at Advanced Communities. Uh, I know all this pain about ideation process and uh, because actually we have so many difficulties managing all these ideas and feature requests. So I'm happy to help and tell you what we invented for dealing with it in today's webinar. And thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Alexei. And um, of course, let me introduce you our amazing customer, Mary Greening, the Director of Community Programs at WalkMe. Mary, would you like to say a few words about yourself? Sure. Thank you, Oha. Thank you for having me. Like Oha said, I am Mary Greening, and I am the Director of Community Programs at WalkMe, a digital adoption software company. I've been working with online communities since about 2001 and implementing ideation for about 16 years. The last seven years have been exclusively on Salesforce, and I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about it. Perfect. Thank you, Mary. Um, so today, our agenda is as follows. So first, we're going to go through the importance of customer feedback for product owners and why it should be kept in Salesforce. And then Alexei is going to walk us through a live demo of the Ideas Ultimate just to show how easy it is to manage ideas in Salesforce by adding just one app to your instance. But, well, that's all theory. So as a next step, we'd love you, uh, to know how Ideas Ultimate users encourage their customers to submit ideas. And Mary Greening will tell the story of WalkMe, uh, where they've been collecting ideas for more than a year now. And, of course, the most interesting part, as I say, there's going to be some uh, time for your questions, so feel free to stay until the Q&A session and prepare the trickiest question you can think of. So um, let's begin. Yeah. So what I'll do now is I'll talk a little bit more about the importance of um, customers' ideas and listening to those ideas. Because it's not a secret that customers feedback is super important. And the customers are those people who actually buy and use your product. They know better what they need most of the time, of course, and they decide to buy more licenses or uh, just leave your solution for a different opportunity. And on the completely different side of things, there's a product owner uh, who has to be creative, and like at the same time, they uh, need to have enough structured data to predict what customers need. And here's where the struggle for product owners becomes real. On one hand, they, they rarely have direct access to customers. They don't really know what's happening in the real world. And the only drop of the feedback uh, they can hear is what sales and support team tells them. On the other hand, there are a bunch of stakeholders who often have completely opposite views on the product roadmap. And as you can see, it's getting hard from the very beginning. And I hope Alexei is nodding as a product owner who experiences this every day. So here on the screen, um, next slide, please. Ah, thank you. So here on the screen, there are six more challenges that we need to address. So what if the customer manages to pass their feedback? Uh, what happens then? Because uh, many of those ideas given to partners to support our sales team, they're just simply uh, lost in the buzz 
And being a salesperson myself, I guarantee you this happens very often. And it's not because we're mischievous or something. We just have a lot on our plates already. And there's no time to find that Google Sheet or whatever is being used. And if it were in Salesforce, that would be so much easier for me. And um, finally, let's say you are lucky enough to get the request. How do you calculate the ROI? And how do you know where to put the resources first, especially when the resources are very limited? And um, how do you know that the feature is needed across the majority of the audience and not just for that one customer who's constantly asking for it? And most importantly, how do you keep a track of the progress and provide all the necessary updates to business and customers? Of course, I would not ask those questions without having answers to them. And that's why we created this webinar. Um, and the answer to this question is Salesforce and Experience Cloud in particular. So these technologies, they made it possible for us to introduce a CADS Ultimate. It's a Salesforce native app that allows you to gather insights, feedback and suggestions on products and services, prioritize them and put the ideas with the most impact into development. And with features like Lightning experience support, integration with Jira, reputation support, and others, the system connects the three sides of the business. Your front office, sales and support, hello, <laughs> your product managers, and your customers and partners, and actually it makes them work together towards the enhancement of the product. And to me, that sounds pretty exciting. I hope it's the same to you as to product owners, product managers, and just people who have seen Salesforce. So here is six key results that you can achieve uh, with introducing this kind of functionality to your business. You can enhance your products and services based on real customer needs, not just trying to guess what they want. You can motivate customers to be active community members because you have created that community for some purpose, right? And um, you can provide a real-time overview of the idea's life cycle, which will make your customers feel seen and heard, and um, they won't need to nag you all the time. They just understand the amount of ideas that you're receiving, and it's usually huge. And you have more quality ideas to choose from. That's super great when you don't really need um, have the pool to choose. And um, you encourage your team to think outside of the box and look at solutions that you probably have never considered. And finally, um, you know where to put your resources first because it's much easier for you to prioritize. And Alexei will now show you a quick demo highlighting the features that we have implemented to motivate your customers to submit ideas. So Alexei, the scene is yours. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you, Olga. Uh, yeah, we are product managers and we have a lot of different requests uh, from different sources like uh, your clients, your partners or your support team uh, or your sales teams like Olga. Uh, even your, your developers may generate certain ideas for your products and we need one place to interact with all these ideas. And let's go through some parts of the ideation process that happens close to real life. And uh, probably let me reshare my screen again. So, uh, so uh, let's imagine I'm Paul. Um, I'm a client of your company and uh, I use certain products of your company and uh, I need to post some feature request or idea somehow, uh, I can do it by emailing, for example, support team or talking to my account manager at your company, or I can talk to a salesperson from your company, but I'm confused. Where should I post it really and how to track the progress of it? Okay, it's, it's all covered by Salesforce. Uh, for example, we have an experience cloud site right now, uh, you can see it on the screen. It's built natively on Salesforce and it is my Paul's uh, personal client portal. 
On this site, I can read latest updates, uh, find some knowledge base about, uh, I don't know, product or future releases or past releases. But also here can appear some page for feature request or ideation for your company. You can look through existing ideas uh, from other users. Uh, you can vote uh, for idea or interact somehow with that idea. You can subscribe it uh, for, for this idea and you will uh, receive uh, automatic updates about uh, status changes. Um, oh, you can dive into uh, this idea and uh, find, please come on. You can dive into detail and find uh, what is the progress about uh, delivery of this idea? What is the stage over it? You can find some different comments or voters who voted it uh, for, for this idea. Or uh, you can look through uh, existing uh, or previous ideation campaigns. Actually campaigns, uh, it, it is a time, time limited and theme focused campaign uh, for generating this idea from your customers. Uh, you can additionally motivate them to post idea within this campaign for, for example, for additional benefits. And as Paul, I'm happy to click uh, on the button, uh, provide some details uh, that are crucial for me and uh, post this idea. Uh, of course, as an ideation manager, uh, you can adjust different layouts and collect different uh, details uh, about uh, this idea, about uh, impact on the business, uh, about uh, real use case, uh, about anything that you need. Uh, and one, once this idea is posted, uh, Paul becomes an owner of the idea and he will receive all updates about ideas progress within the development's lifecycle. But now let's go into uh, internal side, back to Salesforce. And let's imagine I'm a hover and I'm a support manager. I'm dealing with support cases all the time. That's my pain to close these cases as fast as I can. And I have some uh, case that actually it's not real case. It's, it's a feature request. So I cannot close it without any adjustments from a product side, but I have to close it in some way. And so I'm interested in converting this case to idea. It is also possible uh, natively in Salesforce. You can click inside your daily environment as a support manager, where you, you, you know everything about it. And you can choose different options, uh, provide additional details, uh, about this case or about this request and even more you can assign as the owner of this idea that user who writes the, that case and in this case in this case this case uh, will, uh, this submitter will be updated that will, he will receive or she will receive uh, any updates about statuses and as a hover, as a support manager, I'm happy with the closing this case and converting it into a feature requirement. And you as a product manager are happy to find a new feature request. But now let's go deeper. And now let's imagine that I'm Tom and I'm a salesperson at your company. My key process is dealing with different leads and opportunities. And that's my bread and butter. I have to close these opportunities as fast as I can. Uh, but for example, I have some uh, opportunity that says that if you implement a certain feature for your in your product, uh, we will be closing this opportunity with a higher probability. Okay, as Tom, I'm interested in implementing this feature because actually it will close this opportunity. And now I can create idea request from a Salesforce site for my regular environment. I can click new, provide different details about user story, about, uh, uh, I don't know, about real use case uh, of this customer. Um, and uh, after submitting this idea with a, from an opportunity, this idea becomes connected to opportunity. 
and uh, it gives you uh, as a product managers a real monetary value of this uh, feature so you can track it by by monetary value but let's go back to us uh, let's go to product managers and as a product manager um, you can find these ideas feature requests rise from case uh, or from 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 a salesperson or from your developers in your single environment you can build your your own world uh, in one place in salesforce and you can see your own dashboard for example as a, a snapshot of your world uh, you can search for different ideas uh, see how many votes how many comments there there were and even more you can build your own metrics based on effort and impact for example for each idea you can assign different effort values or different effort levels to implement them for example you can estimate that certain idea needs more time than another idea so you can prioritize based on uh, efforts and impact uh, and for your future sprints releases continuous improvements of your products etc etc will be based on objective metrics about this feature request. For example, we have such an idea. Um, uh, let's be like a, we want to implement uh, AI powered support board. It is great, it is cool, but you need a lot of effort. Uh, it's like eight, I don't know, months, years to implement it in terms of, it can be calculated in terms of time, budget, people, anything. And this idea doesn't indicate a huge impact. Uh, no opportunities are connected to this idea and not so many votes and comments were received for this. So you can find some another low hanging fruit uh, that cost you less for you to implement, but have much higher impact on your customers. For example, I don't know, uh, we need to provide reverse sorting options for the for the list. Okay, let's do it first, and it will have a lot of possible uh, positive uh, impact on your client's relationship. So we created these applications for collecting all ideas, feature requests, cases, and everything in one place in Salesforce. And you, as a product manager, can interact with all these ideas. Uh, you can, uh, for example, even have direct access to your customers and partners through ideas because you can chat with them inside idea and you don't need any uh, additional calls, emails, uh, etc, cetera, etc cetera, for interacting with it. Um, and probably that's all from my side and I'm passing back to Olga and we will talk to Mary about how actually it works in real life to motivate your customer to post your ideas. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alexei. That's really been insightful. And yeah, following our agenda, I'll just, um, we'll just talk about Mary's experience. And around two years ago, I think, uh, Mary and I were working together on the evaluation and implementation of Ideas Ultimate for WalkMe. Mary, I'm so happy to reconnect with you. Same. Yeah, and um, I really have so many questions about your experience because it feels like we haven't talked in ages. And uh, I really wonder what kind of strategies you have been implementing for the past year. Like, But first, um, can you tell us a bit more about yourself. How long have you been implementing ideation programs? Uh, okay, so I have been uh, implementing ideation since around 2008 at a company called NECQS. And uh, it went really well. We had to build our own ideation system. Um, and it, it was it was uh, really popular because we had thousands of ideas and the customers were convinced that they were falling into a black hole. Um, and since then, it's one of my favorite topics. And so we've been able to implement it at every company since then, including WalkMe. Wow. And um, can you remind me how long the Ultimate Ideas implementation has been running at WalkMe particularly? Sure. We went live in March of 2023, so just over a year. And um, how do you feel the implementation went? Oh, it was great. Uh, the AC Communities team was uh, worked with us step by step. We we met on a very regular basis. 
Um, they helped us project manage it. It was very easy to implement. Our Salesforce team didn't have any trouble at all. It was easy to configure. Um, AC communities supported us all along the way. If we had any questions, they were very, very responsive. And it was probably one of the easiest parts of our entire community uh, program implementation. Oh, that's like, this is the feedback that one's always wants to hear. So yeah. just let our team listen to this webinar. Uh, so thank you. Yeah. And um, how's it going now? Like, what's your experience right now? Things are going great. I just checked this morning and we have 998 ideas. Uh, we've got over 600, 6,400 6, votes and the community customers love it. Uh, they are uh, promoting their own ideas during webinars, on the forum. Every time there's a question that's related to an idea, someone mentions it. So there's a lot of crowdsourcing going on and uh, cross-promotion of ideas. And um, actually, the next question would be from, from me. Like, weren't you afraid of implementing the solution? You are saying that there's there are more than 900 ideas in, like, in the span of a bit more than a year. Right. I know there can be a lot of anxiety once you're making the project development process like more transparent to customers. Right. So this uh, this is the hardest part about implementing ideation is getting the product team on board. Um, there's a lot of anxiety for multiple reasons. One of the biggest pushback uh, reasons is we don't want to spend our time statusing the ideas. Um, and, you know, that's going to take time. Uh, we were, what, what about all the emails? They were afraid they were going to get a lot of emails. They didn't understand that there was a threshold on votes um, that would trigger an email. And one of the biggest, <laughs> one of the biggest fears of the product team is, well, I don't want to say no. I don't want to tell our customers no, but um, it is it is important to tell your customer no so that they can pivot and uh, do what they need to do with their own processes. So um, it's definitely not a bad thing to say, I'm not going to deliver that idea. Well, and um, well, how do you get your community members to submit ideas and votes? It seems like to be, it seems like it's very active. <laughs> yeah, so um, we, our support team doesn't open feature requests, like um, a lot of times the support team has the overhead of having to open up a feature request when the feature doesn't exist. Instead, we ask our uh, support team to uh, push our, our uh, customers to the community instead and let them initiate the idea. Uh, this kind of reduces uh, the actual number of ideas because the customers, if they're really invested, they'll open it instead of taking having someone else do it for them. They're more likely to follow it. They're more likely to be more in invested in the product if they're opening them on their own. Uh, so the support process does add uh, to that. And of course, um, the, our community is very active and very vocal. And so, again, the crowdsourcing, the promote self, you know, the promoting across the community helps uh, create enthusiasm for it. And also the feedback that they get um, in statusing the ideas as well. They can see where their ideas stand at any time. It almost like fair fell hard. Yes. As I would put it. Yes. And, and when it yeah, comes it to handling ideas like what's the process that you're following because you touched upon it just for a bit because I guess sure. our audience would love to hear more yep so the way we have it set up is uh, when an idea is initiated in the platform it is fed through slack to a, a slack a dedicated slack channel we have a very technical team some of our most technical people at walk me uh, look at those ideas as they come in they make sure that there's no duplicates um, they, they, if they happen to know what the status of that idea is, at, for example, is it already an existing idea? Um, they'll update it immediately. Uh, or if it's an, already an existing uh, feature, they'll update it on, automatically and point the customer to that feature where it already exists. Um, and they'll pretty much triage those ideas so that, that, that all of that front end work is done ahead of um, the product team seeing them. And that's really, really helpful. It's the first time I've ever um, had a process like this. And I think it it make, is a game changer, um, having a triage team ahead of the product team uh, before they see it. it and then, it, of course, the product like team. It some lift off the shoulders of the product team. Yes, yes. they love that. 
how I bet they do. And um, then do you let your customers know um, how you are doing with the process? Like, sure. Do they see that? Do they have the transparency? Yes, they do. And uh, we, as an added uh, part of this, we also uh, do a, a biannual article that talks about how many ideas we have so that they know that their idea isn't the only one. Uh, we tell them how many votes we have, you know, the metrics. And then uh, what we do is we highlight all the delivered ideas for that half of the year um, and feature the people who open the idea and uh, provide direct links to those ideas. We talk about any new features that we've added to the ideation process or um, anything that we want our customers to know about uh, innovating with us. So we add that to the article as well. Wow. Uh, thank you, Mary. And uh, probably the last thing I would ask you to do is whilst we're on the webinar, is there any piece of advice that you would like to give to our audience? Because having your experience, this is a shame not to share it. Sure. Um, so the biggest piece of advice is get executive buy-in. And that means your senior vice president of product management should fully support the ideation efforts. Um, this includes making ideation part of the product team goals and performance metrics. Uh, this helps, uh, you know, drive uh success from the product side of it. Um, also, once you have executive sponsorship, reach out to the team at AC Communities and buy their AC Ideas Ultimate platform. Years ago, I had to build a homegrown ideation application on Salesforce, and it was not fun. It was very uh, hard, lots of work, and very limited. Uh, the AC Communities package has everything I ever wanted in ideation. Um, and you'll save a lot of time and frustration by buying their well-made and tested application that integrates beautifully with Salesforce. And there's so much you can do with it after you've, um, you know, you've uh, integrated into your community and your CRM. Um, when launching ideas, make sure that you seed the platform with about 10 popular feature requests that have already been identified by the customer and product teams. Um, make sure they're in various states of status like planned and under review. And this will give your users ideas to vote on immediately. And it will also just demonstrate the structure of a good idea. Uh, we had some of our MVPs create ideas at go live. We also got permission to impersonate others to submit some and use a fake account uh, to submit the rest. Uh, that was really important um, on getting you know excitement uh, once we went live. And of course, leverage the user community and support portal to promote your ideas tool. Wow, that's a lot. And uh, Barry, thank you so much for um, taking the time and for sharing your experience with us. And uh, now it's high time to process all the tips and tricks that Mary shared. But don't worry if you missed anything, we'll make sure to provide you with a recording of the webinar. So. Um, it, you'll have a chance to rewatch and make sure you um, you use those practices uh, within your ideation process, even if it's not in Salesforce yet. And uh, let's get on to the final stage of the webinar, to the Q&A session. I hope there's been someone who came up with the trickiest question. Um, so let me check the Q&A session first. Um, and the question is, Product managers are often dealing with Jira. Um, yep, that's true. And are there any options to avoid manual work for tracking feature implementation? And I know the answer to this one. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, we've talked a, a bit about Jira integration and we have this kind of feature with the application. So what our Jira integration does is that it synchronizes statuses from, um, from basically your Jira issue to uh, communities so that there's no need to manually go and update those so that um, customers actually have the visibility. It's done once a day or by request and and yeah it takes lots of weight up um, your shoulders the weight that you don't really need but if you need any kind of deeper integration uh, with specific processes just reach out to us and we can discuss that. Um, and the next question would be, we need to collect specific data for ideas. How can we do it? So yeah, as um, Alexei has shown on the demo, uh, it is possible to, since it's all Salesforce, it's native Salesforce, you can just create 
filled in the idea submission form that will gather the information that you need. You can you can make those fields mandatory, you can make them optional, but in both cases, this will just enable you to get some more um, visibility on, on the idea. So you'll uh, be more prepared to say whether you are ready to implement it or whether you would like to ditch it for some reason. Because um, yeah, usually there are lots of ideas, but you are not uh, able to implement them all. And now let me go to the comment section as well. Um, I still see some of the locations. So I pretend I'm somewhere in Spain, um, as that would be lovely. So how is it, how is it, to, uh, how it is to set up ideas ultimate if my sales team creates the, okay, so these are different questions. So I'll just go one by one. And the setup is pretty easy. Of course, that really depends on what kind of process you would like to have in place, whether you need any um, custom flows that takes a bit of time, but the um, setup and configuration part is is relatively easy. I know our support team can do that in a couple of hours, and we have that. I think um, the, the fastest the ideas went live were, was like four or six hours. We, we would not recommend doing that in any case, but just to show you that it can take um, just a few hours, or it can take a couple of weeks because we would like to provide you with training sessions and with onboarding and make sure you are fully prepared um, to make that happen. And some people use um, had this experience of using Salesforce ideation, um, so they know a little bit about what's happening. But of course, when the new system is, is introduced, it would be uh, great to have some training. And um, if my sales team creates the idea on behalf of a customer, how can customers get notifications about this idea? So this is a great question. So when a salesperson creates an idea on behalf of a customer, they can actually state which customer is that. And those customers will be linked to the idea and as if they would submit it themselves. So in this case, they would not need to go create that idea, but still they'll get all the notifications that usually are emails uh, when the status of the idea is changed. So if, for instance, you've reviewed the idea and the status has changed to, into development, a person would get notification that, yeah, the idea has been developed um, and probably they need to start budgeting for more licenses, hopefully. Um, that's my sales dream. And of course, um, next question would be, how can I calculate impact on the idea? Um, so when you calculate an um, impact on the idea, you can actually use any kind of criteria as a basis because this impact is just a um, like a formula field. So you can think of number of votes, number of comments, um, maybe the value of the account, um, monetary value of that particular idea, if there are any opportunities connected to it, of course. So it's pretty easy to set up um, this impact based on the criteria that you'd like. And um, what if several similar ideas are created? How can we manage that? And again, that's a great question because when uh, the number of ideas uh, gets overwhelming, like in hundreds, people rarely go and look for a specific idea. They just go and post that. They're pretty lazy, we'll know that. Uh, but um, what you can do as a product manager, you can merge those ideas. So all the uh, votes will be merged um, and the information, and you can actually choose whether you would like to have it as a parent or as a child idea. So you can uh, make sure that um, not a single drop of information is lost when you do that. And here, of course, you, you then have better analytics and better understanding of um, how many people actually need it. Okay, as as a peer user, Katie, one hint, uh, one hint and impact is the vote in total. Oh, yeah, that's 
that's great. And actually, this is like one, usually one of the most important parts, the voting. But sometimes uh, when you get those votes from an account that's super valuable to your organization, um, like you really want them to, to make them happy, you can also use things like accounts value and again, monetary value. If we have internal and external users, um, how can we divide ideas between them? Is it possible? Um, yeah, sure. So um, what you can do is you can have different zones for different audiences. And this concept of zone, it's, it, it's just Salesforce concept. You probably have heard of it, but if not, what it does is that it helps to divide uh, ideas submitted by a specific audience so that you don't really see the ideas that if I'm a customer, I don't really see the ideas that have been submitted by partners or by internal users. Because I assume that sometimes there's some sensitive information that you don't really want for everyone to see. So yeah, that's just um, concept of zones. And I can see, Charlie, like, I would love to invite you to our webinar because your answers are brilliant. Uh, yeah, and um, I think we have a couple of more questions too. Um, I would like to be given an opportunity to volunteer. Joined from Nigeria, how can I get a help to also volunteer? Um, I'm not really sure of uh, what kind of volunteering you're talking about, but could you please um, uh, write a bit more or maybe I'll just need to uh, read till the end of the comment section. And by the way, thank you so much for being so active. Um, that really makes my heart happy because, you know, it's sometimes very hard to, um, you know, talk, not see you, but this way I can, I can really have that feedback. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I think Alexei has answered to Godwin. Perfect. So we'll just take a few more minutes and um, so that you can come up with a few more questions. But in general, it was really nice to um, be able to talk to you just a little bit in the comment section and answer your questions. And of course, share our experience in um, ideation management and um, like with with a huge love to Salesforce, I'm so happy to do that. And Mary, Alexei, um, do you have anything to say to our viewers, to our audience? No, I highly recommend ideation. Um, not I don't really have any other advice. Spilled all my beans already. <laughs> so. Yeah, actually, I'm looking after this ideation product and uh, I need certain ideas for my ideas. Uh, that's why I'm just inviting you to, 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 to post your ideas about ideas. I'm sorry for confusing, but yeah, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's like we're building for ourselves. That's why it's probably my favorite product of mine. Um, Thank you so much for your feedback. If you have anything else to share, please feel free to send us an email or you can also scan the QR code that you can see on the screen right now. That's why I am I keep on talking so that you have time to actually go and um, scan that QR code. Um, and of course, we'll be open to your um, questions, suggestions, feedback. We'll follow up with the recording of the call. And again, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday.